Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I'll talk about elements of financial statements. This video is part of my series of videos on introduction to financial accounting. Accounting is a different language. If you have never done accounting before and if you come across an accountant, they would be talking gibberish because uh, many words they would be using which you have never heard before and uh, which means you would not understand. And managers do have to talk to accountants a lot. That means you do need to understand their language. And obviously, uh, understanding their language means understanding the terminologies they use. When a transaction happens, it affects one of the elements of the financial statements. It affects one of the five, one or more of the five elements of the financial statements. There are five elements of the financial statements. And these are the main terminologies which we will be learning that what are those five elements and then exploring them a bit more. Liabilities are obligations to transfer the economic benefits. The university have received money from you guys and it is our obligation to teach you, to help you pass and to give you a certificate. It's not our obligation to pass you. It's our obligation to help you to pass. If you don't take our help and if you don't pass, you can't really blame us. But bank loans are normally are taken for longer than a year. So it's a non-current liability. Normally bank loans are for three years or five years or 10 years. Debentures, loan notes are for five years or 10 years. Overdrafts are current liabilities. You have to pay them back. If you don't pay them back, you have to pay the interest on that. It could be canceled any time. So it's a current liability. Account payables are my suppliers. They supply me goods and they say, oh, you can pay us back in three months time. I am holding their money. So that's my liability. I need to pay them. The university is liability. University is holding your money. And until we fulfill our obligation, it's your money. Accruals are the opposite of uh, prepayments. So something you paid in advance, so you pay, you paid your fees in advance in your accounts, in your financial statements, it's, it would come as prepayment. In university accounts, it would come up as accrual. Money received, but obligation not fulfilled. 